Just me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to review the anime series uh, Quintuplets. So let's get straight into this uh, video. So, the Quintuplets anime, I really like the anime. I um, was. Um, I haven't seen it for a while, but um, it's an anime that I really wanted to talk about with you guys, and I just wanted to sort of like, uh, in a gush about, you know, um, the series with you, and about the girls, and everything like that, and just go over what happened in the series, and why I like it, and um, why I think it deserves another season, because it does. I think, uh, I think um, it should deserve another season, a season three. Um, Season 1 was really good. I really enjoyed Season 1 and getting into uh, the girls and, you know, getting into their personalities and everything like that. And I think Season 1 was probably the um, uh, the best sort of, like, setup when it came to, like, getting into, um, you know, the... the characters, the world, the, um, their personalities, and the girls, and everything like that, and, uh, and setting up, like, the story, and everything like that. Basically, the story of qu the quintuplets is, there's these, uh, five girls that are not that very, uh, you know, good at, like, you know, doing, uh, um, schoolwork, and homework, and all that sort of stuff, and the main character, uh, Fut um, Futuro, um, Utsuki, um, he is a brainiac, like, he's really really good and he, I mean, I mean, he knows his shit about like, you know, um, about, I mean, um, homework and schoolwork and all that sort of stuff and he's really intelligent and everything like that. So, um, their father, the girl's father hires him to tutor the five girls and then from then, uh, um, you know, chaos ensues and he gets into, um, not really, uh, he gets into sort of a relationship with all of the girls and he, uh, you know, is, I mean, he starts out as their tutor, as their teacher and he's basically just teaching them like you know um math and english and all this stuff and, and uh, teaching them basic school stuff and then as the anime goes on uh they start you know um seeing seeing each other at school and at, uh, and at their home and everything like that and over time they get um they grow closer to um futuro and everything like that and they just start and all the girls start to develop feelings for him and they start to like him and everything like that and that's basically how the anime sets us all up it's basically so um, it is basically a harem anime um and all the girls sort of like him um most of them uh don't have uh, um, you know, romantic, you know, feelings for him at the start, um, uh, and mainly, I think the ma the main two that sort of like him at the start were Miku and Ichika, um, I think that's how you pronounce her name, um, those were, like, the two that sort of, like, fell for him at first, um, in the first season, yeah, um, and then, um, season two, Nino and, uh, it's Isiki, Isiki, I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'm sorry if I pronounced the names wrong. Um, but uh, those are the other two that sort of like fall from as well. And then Yotsuba. Um, Yotsuba, I don't know if she like fell for um, him as well in um, either season one or season two. But yeah, so she... Um, uh, I don't know if she's fell for him just yet or anything like that. Um, and... Um, this um, this story has ended. There is an ending to the story. The manga has ended, and I do know the ending. I got spoiled on the ending, which was kind of like, oh, really? And um, that was a bit of a shame. But I won't spoil it here. I won't spoil it here. Okay. Um, but yeah. So um, I'm just talking about season one and season two. I'm not talking about anything beyond that. So don't worry. But yeah. So, yeah, so they all have sort of, like, romantic sort of feelings for uh, Futuro, and he's a lucky guy. He's a lucky guy. Like, seriously, like, all these girls are bangers. Uh, my favorite is uh, Nino. Um, um, you can see that from the thumbnail. I really like Nino. She's my favorite girl. Um, and then I had, if I had to pick a second girl, it would have to be either a toss-up between, uh, Miku or Ichiga. Um, those are the other two that I really like as well. Um, and then it's, uh, Itsuka and then, uh, Yotsuba. Yotsuba, honestly, she's okay, but, like, honestly, I don't really um, like her that very much, like, um, maybe later on in the series, I might, you know, get, um, um, like her more, but 
as it stands now, I don't really like her. I kind of think that she's kind of annoying. And then, uh, then, um, Itsuka, um, honestly, Itsuka, she is the, uh, she's, like, the most intelligent of the, uh, um, of the five girls, and, um, and she's, like, she's a bit moody, she's, um, well, they're all pretty moody, honestly, um, and then, I mean, she's nice, and she's cute, and she's sort of, like, uh, the big sister, not, um, but not really, because, uh, um, Ichika is, like, the big sister, like, she's, like, the one that came out first, and she was, and she's, like, the big sister to everyone, um, but, uh, um, Itsuka, um, um, you know, acts like the big sister, so yeah, um, then Ichika, honestly, Ichika, I did like at first, like, um, she was my favorite, um, at first, but then after what happened in season two, and is she lying to Futuro and everything like that, she kind of went down the list, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't really like her that very much anymore, and she's still cool, she's still awesome, and I like her, um, and I like, uh, everything that's happened with her, um, you know, she being like a movie sort of star, and, um, you know, and then, um, in season two, she gets her own place, and everything like that, and then, uh, the girls sort of, sort of all stay at her place, um, in, in defiance of, a, of their, like, father, and everything like that, and then, uh, yeah, so she's still cool, I like her, she's still cool, and then we got Miku, Miku, honestly, she's, uh, my second favorite, honestly, um, I, I'm, I'm Ichigo's probably my third, but, uh, Miku, she ha, um, she's just so, uh, and, uh, cute and shy, and I, th I really like her relationship with, uh, Futuro and everything like that, and, uh, you know, um, she's got a lot of development in season one and season two, and I think that she just looks, um, her design is my favorite, honestly, her design is my favorite, um, but, um, Nino, um, is probably my favorite, um, I also like her design as well, um, but I like her for different reasons, but we'll get to her in a sec, um, but Miku, I think that she's had a lot of, like, uh, development, and I think that she's a really good character, and I think that, um, you know, um, her relationship with Futuro is really good. Uh, now we get to Nino. Nino is my favorite girl because she knows what she wants, and she will, and she will not stop until she gets it. <laughs> because I love that, like, I honestly did not like her at the start of season one, she was kind of a bitch, but, like, at, um, but as the series went on, and we got into her character, and in season two, we got more into her character, and we got to see who she really was, and then she fell for Futuro, and everything like that, and, uh, she, um, and we found out that she just really cares for her sisters, and everything like that, and, you know, she doesn't want, um, you know, um, she didn't want Futuro to get in, um, in, uh, in their lives and everything like that and mess this whole, you know, family dynamic thing up, um, because they were also, they were all sort of, like, flaunting over him, and they were all sort of, like, um, you know, um, having a go at each other and trying to get, you know, Futuro to see them for who they really are and everything like that. I, um, that's why I think that, uh, Nino, uh, didn't like Futuro at the, at the start, because, um, you know, all the other, um, all the other girls were, like, sort of flaunting over him, and, you know, liking him, and, you know, she wanted him to sort of, like, you know, f um, focus on her, and see, um, what her, um, what her, what she's all about, and, you know, um, trying to get, uh, you know, um, Futuro to fall for her, not for the other girls, and that's why I think the f whole dynamic, um, family dynamic, uh, was sort of like, uh, you know, getting very toxic, um, in season, um, you know, two, and everything like that, and that's why Nino sort of, like, ran away, and then once we got into her character, and then she falling for Futuro and everything like that, and then she coming out and saying, you know, I love you and everything like that to Futuro, which, I did not expect to, uh, you know, for Nino to come out and say, I love you straight out the gate. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah. So, uh, that's probably why I like Nino so much is because she, uh, loves her sisters and she knows what she wants and she will go out and get it and she, do, and she won't let anyone stop her and her design is really well and I like her, I love the hair, I love, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, um, her, of her hair and everything like that and her two, um, you know, 
um, I don't even know what they're called, but those things in her hair, um, that sort of like, um, those hair pins, whatever, uh, whatever they're called, I don't know, I don't know, um, but yeah, those things in her hair, they're really cute, and I just like her design, and she's really cute, and I just love her, like, sort of moody, um, and sort of bitchy, uh, personality, and her whole Sundere sort of thing going on, I just like it, I, I like Sundere's, okay, so yeah, <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, so Nita's my favorite girl, um, I'm, you know, I really want there to be a season 3 because I think, you know, this anime deserves a season 3, I don't know if, if there's going to be a season 3, I know there's going to be a movie, I know there's going to be a movie, but I don't know if it's canon or not, um, but I know there's going to be a movie that's coming out, and I might see it i don't know if it'll be in theaters because um the jujutsu kaisen movie did come out where i am and i just didn't get to see it because uh it was playing at a really late time and i didn't have time to see it so yeah but i know there's a movie of the quintuplets coming out and i don't know if it will come to a cinema near me um but hopefully it does and hopefully i can see it uh but we'll have to wait and see uh, i think the movie is coming out either this year or next year i'll have to look that up but i don't remember when the movie is coming out but yeah um, and see, um, season one was just getting into the girls and everything like that and, you know, setting up their personalities and everything like that and a bit about the school and the world and then season two we got more into the girls and the, um, and their personalities and what their, um, and then sort of like, I think season two was more, um, focused on you know, the girls developing a romantic sort of feeling for Futuro and, you know, sort of falling for him and everything like that and they went on that little little road trip and everything like that and that's where sort of like and that um that's where they had that sort of like um uh uh, hot springs sort of like episode um where um futuro couldn't tell the girls apart and everything like that and that's where all the girls sort of fall f um, fell for su um for futuro and everything like that so yeah and it's sort of like, um, and the way I, um, view this anime is like, sort of like how I met your mother. Um, it's like, uh, who's the bride, who's going, to, um, which one of these girls is going to marry, you know, Futuro at the end of the story. I know who's going to do it because, um, I was spoiled, I was spoiled on the ending because this, um, it has ended the series. Um, and I know that a lot of people weren't very happy with it, but you know, um, but I accepted the ending and I moved on and I was like okay whatever but I do not know the uh the events leading up to it okay so that's the that's all I'm um that's all I know okay I know who, who the ending person is that you know marries Futuro but I don't know the uh the events leading up to it so yeah but I won't spoil it so yeah but season one is probably my favorite. Season two is, um, you know, really good, and I really like that. If I had to do sort of like a tier list of the girls, it would probably be uh, Nino first, then Mi um, then Miku, then Ichika, then uh, Itsuka, and then Yotaba. Those were um, that's where my uh, sort of um, that's where I sort of rank the girls um, and um, how I feel about them and everything like that. And I think I've already told you um, my feelings and. Everything like that, so yeah. But that is basically my review on the quintuplet anime. I really enjoyed the anime, and I would definitely recommend it for you if you like, uh, you know, romance, or if you like, you know, um, harem animes, or if you like just a, um, you know, really chill uh, type of anime that you know is um, is uh, sort of slice of life and a bit uh, and has a bit of romance thrown in there as well, and it's just a really you know um, you know good anime. And uh, yeah. And anyways, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out. You know, like and subscribe, comment down below. Who is your favorite girl out of the five girls? Um, you know, minus Nino, obviously. I've already told you that. But uh, who is your favorite? And what do you like about uh, the quintuplet anime? And are you excited for the movie uh, that's going to come out either this year or next year? Put that in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. And have an awesome day.